Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. This is Savor the Budget Easter here and thank you all for tuning in. So if you want to see what I'm rocking and what I have on my head and all the tea, make sure you stay tuned and keep watching. Also, if you are new, welcome to my channel girl. <laughs> make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Do not forget about that. And to all my old heads, you know I love y'all. Alright, on to the video. Alright, what's up girls? Welcome back to my channel. I am back with another budget friendly wig video i hope y'all ready for this one so if you already can tell i'm super excited because this is a real human hair wig no this is not synthetic honey this is real this is all of that in this glory um so i thought to actually try a human hair wig and that's because if y'all know if y'all been watching my previous videos you know i've been talking a little bit about going through postpartum shedding i just had my son a few months back he is officially six months um so yeah my hair is still going through the shedding and all of that and i thought to myself at one point i wanted to cut my hair all off again and just go bald however everybody was telling me no don't do it don't do it just you know start wearing wigs and start getting your hair braided so that's what i chose to do now do not worry do not fret because i know that my video on my channel is mostly about synthetic wigs which i will be still doing because y'all know how it gets down but i thought to go ahead and also dip into you know the human hair wig pond and try out some human hair wig so let's stop rambling on let me get into the actual wig all right so the wig that i got i actually bought this with my own hard-earned money okay um i got it from eleve i think that's how you pronounce it eleve wig hairwigs.com this is how the box looks it came dhl and let's get into what all it came with so in the box is just a standard you know box and it comes with your information booklet it has the company's name all of their social sites on the back this is a china based website as well as all the other human hair wigs that they carry and then care instructions it also came with a weaving cap it came with a two packs of nail files which a girl can never have too many of those it also came with elastic strap which i can appreciate and then it came with some false lashes which look like halloween but anyways let's get into this wig so i actually can't remember the style number of this wig it doesn't have a name it has a number and i can't remember it but i will leave a direct link down below to where you can look at it more so on the website if you are interested in purchasing it so this is kind of sort of a kinky curly wig this is a full lace wig at that I have a 14 inch and I also chose a 130 density, which we'll talk about that later. So when I initially got on the site, y'all listen, I was looking up so many YouTube videos on wig, lace wigs, what's the best affordable lace wig because y'all already know I ain't with the whole spending more than a, you know, a couple of hundred on a wig. You know what I mean? I ain't there yet. So I'm looking for like really affordable, nice lace wigs. Yeah, and I came across a couple of videos of some lovely ladies reviewing this, uh, not this wig, but this wig company. So I thought to try them out and give it a try um, and all of that. So as far as the wig and why I chose Curly, I've been loving or I've been wanting a Curly wig for the longest time. And although it's winter here in Michigan, it actually just started snowing today. Like for real, for real snow. Um, I just feel like, you know, I just want to be curly. I want to look like I'm excited and somewhere on the beach in you know, Bahamas drinking a martini or something. I don't know, girl, but I wanted a curly wig. So I thought, why not try it with a lace wig? This is, if I have not mentioned, a full lace wig. So, um, I purchased the wig a few weeks ago, actually, and I just now got it installed today. So, actually, I went to someone to go get it done for my first time because I didn't trust myself enough to do the wig and I did not want to mess it up. So, I went and I got it done, which we'll get into that later about how I felt about that. But anyways, the wig, let me tell you how much the wig was, gal, if you're wondering. So, for this 14-inch wig that I purchased in 130 density, um, it was, I want to say, around 126 
I want to say if I'm not mistaken if I am I will make sure to annotate it and somewhere on this video you know the actual price but I will say it was like around 126 130 or something like that um, it took about two weeks to get to me because as I mentioned this is a foreign site but that did not bother me because I wasn't in a rush to wear this wig anyway um, I work a full-time job and I wasn't in a rush to you know get this wig but if you are in a rush I would probably wait until you're not to get a wig from their company or you can probably try express shipping i'm not sure how that goes but like i said i did get this dhl so let's give uh let's go on to my thoughts about this wig after i got it installed all right so as i mentioned i got this wig installed today um and i was a little bit skeptical because i am very very picky about my hair when it comes to my hair i'm very very picky and how picky am i i'm so picky i have not been to someone professionally to actually do my hair in well over six years i just now found a natural hairstylist some um, in a city near me that could actually press natural hair and you know actually work with natural hair and get your hair healthy again so i actually found this young lady um in a city close to by where i live that actually works with natural hair right and i was going to her to get my hair pressed out she was also cutting it trimming it because as i mentioned in previous my videos my hair has been going through postpartum shedding um i'm still going through it but it's not as bad as it was when i first started and i'll have a separate video on that as well for all of you mommies out there who are also experiencing the same thing so I was going to her and I absolutely hands down, I love her work. So once I found someone who could work with my natural hair, I was like, okay, I'm going to stick to that person. But then when it comes to lace wigs, I never wore a full lace wig as far as like gluing it down. I never did that. So I was skeptical. So I ended up choosing this girl that one of my coworkers went to is her family member. And I was choosing her to go to. And I was really terrified, y'all. I was like, not I was about to cancel my appointment today. That's how terrified I was. But I went through with it or whatever so when i came to her the hair actually is pre-plucked as well i'm sorry if i did not mention that the wig came pre-plucked so what she did was she bleached the knots she glued the wig on she braided my hair down and she you know styled it for me or whatever and then cut my baby hairs because it did come with baby hairs and they were long she trimmed them down and all of that so on to what i feel i like this hair i do like this hair however I feel like when I get another lace wig, I will probably end up doing it myself. And that's just because I don't feel like it's um, the lace is seamless. I can tell where the lace starts and my hair, my actual like my head, my color, my shade, my head. I can tell and I'm not a big fan of that. So I did have to when I came home, I did end up kind of customizing it you know a little bit doctoring up to my liking because i didn't want that huge demarcation to show when i'm out even though i feel like it's still going to show because you know she did what she did um i will say she did a good job at bleaching the knots as far as what i know or what i could tell um and all of that i also feel like a helmet's on my head y'all i feel like the wig is like it's a helmet <laughs> like i've never had my hairline this close to my eyebrows before like girl i got as uh what was it called light skin, light skin keisha would say on instagram i got newborns forget baby hairs i got newborns like fresh out the womb girl all of that so anyways um but I do like it. I went in when I got home and I added some of my setting powder to it. And then I also kind of gelled the hair down a little further so it wouldn't look so obvious per se. Um, and that's pretty much all I did. I didn't do anything else to the hair. Now, as far as the hair it goes, I do like the hair a lot. However, I feel like the hair is not exactly how it looks on the site i feel like the hair when i saw the hair on the website it looked more kinky like you know black folks hair kinky curly right this is like silky kinky curly if i can say that i don't know but i do like it i did meant to i did meant to purchase 150 
I made the mistake and I purchased a 130 density wig, which to me is too light. It's too thin. Um, so I would recommend if you purchase this hair to purchase it in 150 density. And by that, if you're not sure what that means, that pretty much means the density of the hair. So the lower the number is, the less hair it is. The higher the number is, the more hair it is. The bigger the volume, you know, the, the thicker the hair is. So with a curly wig, especially with it being 14 inches, I would have definitely purchased 150 if I would have really, like, calmed down and went through my order. But I was too excited. I ordered it, and by the time I ordered it, I looked at my order review, and I saw that I ordered 130, and I couldn't go back and change it. Well, I probably could have if I would have called the company, but I didn't think to do that, so I was really bummed out about that. But overall, it's not that bad. It's more natural looking anyway, or whatever. I probably will end up going in and probably cutting it a little bit to make it look more fuller. Um, so otherwise than that, I like this wig. It's easy so far. I spritzed on some water to, you know, tame the curls a little bit. And that's all I did. I did not do anything else to it. I did also, I'm sorry, I did add some concealer to the hairline to make it stand out a bit as well. But that's about it. So far, I do like this hair a lot. We'll see how long it lasts. I'll be giving an update on this wig if you're interested, letting you all know what I thought about it. After probably about a week and a half, I'll probably come back and do an update on this wig and let you know what I think about it and all of that. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns and you want to say, hey girl, hey, make sure you leave a comment down below. Also, if you have any suggestions on you know this hair of mine how to maintain it all of that make sure you also comment down below let's have a discussion okay let's have a discussion um but nonetheless thank y'all so much for watching my video and i'll be seeing y'all on the next one bye